how to connect Todoist to Anaten step by step. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect Todoist to Anaten step by step so you can automate your task management and project management workflows with ease. So we will go through the entire setup for creating your API tokens to configuring with this node, as you can see here. Now in this video, I will show you two ways you can connect. First way is for cloud version, uh, where we will find the token. And then in the second version, uh, it is for the hosted version of Anatin, where we will find the client ID and the client secret. So let's get started. First thing first, what you have to do is open your workflow. As you can see here, I will just simply delete this and open your workflow and add first step. Click on this add first step or you can add from here as well from the top right corner and search for Todo, Todoist. And from here, you have to choose action or triggered as well. So I will choose this action to create a task. Now what I have to do is click on this create new credential option. Now, first I need API key. So if you go into auth2, you will find this auth re redirect URL. So you can use API key as well and auth2 URL as well. So auth2 is uh, give a little bit freedom, but it's it's kind of like the same, but yeah, you can use both of things. I will show you in this video, both methods. Now just simply close this. So this method is cloud uh, for cloud version. Just click on and go to your Todoist account. So I have already created a Todoist account. So now in the top left corner, you will find this uh, profile icon. Now from there, you have to go to setting. Now in the setting, you have to go to integrations where you will find this installed browse developer option. Now what you have to do is go to developer and from here, you have to uh, un enable this I. Now copy this API token or if you want to issue a new API token, you can issue a new API token. So for this tutorial, I will just copy API token and go back to my workflow and paste it over here and then save. Now wait for a few seconds, it will test. And as you can see here, the connection tested successfully. Now let's perform action over here. So choose the resource, which is task. It will create a task. Now, from here, you have to choose your project name. Like I have already created a project in Tutorist. Uh, as you can see here, there are two projects like Home and Todo List. So I will choose a uh, Todo List. Now, after that, you have to give the label name. So it's uh, if you have created labels, so you can give it. Right now, by default, it is read. Now you can add a uh, content over here. Task. So you can add, uh, add content by expression or fixed as well. Now let's execute this step. Execute workflow. As you can see, the workflow has been executed successfully. Let's go to our uh, to do list project. As you can see here, I have we have already uh, already added this task one. So it means it worked. Now let's move to how you can set up for the hosted version so i'm using hosted version right now now click on this to do list option now let's create a task now let's move and create new credential for auth2 now first you have to copy this auth redirect url now then you have to find client id and client secret now let's go back to to do list in the top right corner you will top left corner you will find the same profile icon go to setting and from there you have to go to integration and after that you will find this browse option okay uh, as you can see you can go to uh, okay so there is no option to create app over here so what you have to do is go back to your anaton and open docs these uh, document now you you will find this uh, auth app management console just simply click on it and it will redirect you to this page where you have to add new integration 
Now click on this add new integration. Give a, give your app name. Let's say an attend connection to connection to and then click on this create app. Now wait for a few seconds. Scroll down a little bit. You'll find the client ID and client secret. Copy this client ID. Paste into the client ID section. Then go back to your app and copy the client secret. And paste it. Now it's time to connect account. Before that we have to paste the, this auth redirects URL. Copy this and go back to your and it in connection to app, paste this auth redirect URL. Now click on this save settings. Now app setting has been saved. Now let's move back to our Anaton. Now, as you can see here, we got the connect my account button. Click on it and then it will ask your account and you have to just simply click on this agree button and then we have our app connected successfully now close all of this so we have successfully created credentials now let's create another task now this is a to-do list give a label name and give uh, do video lt now let's execute this step as you can see here, the node has been executed successfully. Now let's go back to our uh, Todoist account. Now as you can see here, this task has been added successfully. So after the connection, you can create a lot of things. You can create tasks from other apps like Telegram. You can just give the message to create app. It will create getting real-time notification. You, have, you can synchronize tasks with Google Sheet, Notions, or Slack. You can build a custom productivity workflow with zero manual work. So you can do a lot of things. So yeah, that's it uh, for today's video. If you found this video helpful, then subscribe to the channel and thank for watching.